rest in Jesus Christ. This is why you do not have to wake up every morning and go to bed every night in a state of anxiety. Not having to worry, does God still love me today? Not having to wonder, all these things have gone so bad, does that mean God doesn't love me anymore? Has He forsaken me? What that means is that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Brothers and sisters, God has raised this church up for a specific purpose. That purpose isn't to become another denomination. The purpose is to raise a people who are ready to meet Jesus Christ in life and not in death. But you also know and probably fear that before that happens you go through this time of trouble. This time of trouble is going to come because God will have a people who like Jesus Christ on the cross will be able to stand in belief even though everything around them is falling apart, even though everything they think and feel is telling them that God has abandoned you, they will not lose their hold on Christ. When Jesus was on the cross and everything was dark and he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why did he do that? Did he have to do that? Why did he do that? Did he do that out of a soul anguish because of what he was experiencing? Was the devil right there to try to get him to lose his faith in the Father? Did it work? What was the last thing Jesus said before he actually died? Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. This is the experience of God's people right before He comes. This is why you, you, and myself, need to have a faith that's able to endure. If we can't endure the trials we go through now, and the water is fairly shallow, how are you going to endure when the water gets deep? But what we say is, I can't do that. The good news is, you don't have to. That's why you have to understand why we keep Sabbath. Because it is a sign of the completeness in Christ. The Sabbath and the Gospel go hand in hand. Unfortunately, we've had leaders in the past that have not presented it that way. But if you start to fully grasp righteousness by faith, you start to fully grasp the Gospel of Jesus Christ, then you start to have a better appreciation of why we are Sabbath keepers and why God has called us to be Sabbath keepers until Jesus comes. Because it will show the world the faithfulness of God and the power that He has to work in His people. Our closing <coughs> is in number three, four.
about these things last week because it's not a meeting time. And we need to do a reading for the acceptance of the names that have come up. So this year, the nominating committee would be Ricky, Linda, <coughs> Diana, Mary Jane, and Carl. Um, you need to go home this week, think about these names. If you have any issues or questions, give myself or Ricky a call because next week we're going to have a final reading and acceptance in a vote on them. Okay? Let us stand as we have closing prayer. Heavenly Father, as we close this service, we thank you so much for everything that you've done. Our salvation is full and complete in Jesus Christ. Father, I just pray that you help us to fully grasp and understand this. This, Lord, is the message that we need to hear and that we need to share and that we need to live. Father, I pray that you be with these young people that are being baptized today, that you will continue to bless them in their walk, but also bless us who have been walking with you for many years. Father, I ask and pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.